Hey everybody, Jake here from Bearded Gear, and got another package to open today. Um, this is coming by way of Tier 1 Gear Reviews. Um, and before that, it has gone through a, a string of my friends, basically. Um, I believe this knife was started, it might even belong to um, Brad, Screaming Pirate. Um, he asked if I wanted to check this out, and I said yes. And then he said, great, do you want to be first? And I said, no, because it was literally like launch week of the pre-order for the Avant. So I was like, put me at the end of the list. Um, so not saying like, oh, cool, I, was, I had the opportunity to be at the front of the list. Anyway, I've known this was coming for a while. That's the point that I'm trying to make. Um, and it has gone through Kevin and Kyle. So D2M, Knives and Gear, Lefty EDC. I don't remember if Chris from Grady's Gear has gotten it. I feel like that would make sense with it being within this kind of group. And then it's been, a th I think Justin is tier one's name. Now I feel bad if I mess that up. I'm pretty sure his name is Justin. Um, yeah, so it's been through a few of us. And I think Brad bought this at Blade Show. This is a McNeese Mac 2 3.5. So the McNeese Mac 2 is a little kind of in-house from what I understand made um, like three inch blade folder, uh, that Jared McNeese, Jared McNee from McNeese knives. I don't know. He makes, um, and this is a larger version with a 3.5 inch blade. This to my understanding is a prototype. So this isn't what they're going to be as they're like, I, I don't know if you call it production at that point, mid tech. I don't know when a lot more of them come <laughs> when they're steadily flowing there may be some subtle changes from what I understand. This is just an unboxing, so I'm not gonna dive too deep into what those are. I'll get some more information before I do more videos on it, but I'll unbox it today. I'll be checking it out for a little bit, and then ultimately there will be a, a kind of full review. I don't know if I'm supposed to like use and carry this. I'll have to find that out as well, but there will at least be some more in-depth thoughts on it, and uh, I'll talk about it as much as I can. But always excited to check out a knife, especially before it comes out. That is a cool perk of doing this. So I'd be lying if I said I don't like moments like this where I get to check something out that not a lot of people have. Sue me. Um, all right, let's get into this. We have a pouch in a box. And the pouch is even sealed. And this is really protected in there. Just using, I just literally unboxed this Civivi Mini Asticus. Pretty slicey. It's doing well. All right, let's get into here. I'm trying to be real careful, make sure I don't accidentally mess up any of the packaging itself for the knife. There we go. Oh, there's stickers in here. I literally just like dropped stuff that I didn't mean to. Oh man, very cool. Um, so, tier one sent me some uh, stickers and some magnets. Very cool, thanks dude, appreciate it. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to keep all these or if some go to the next person as well or what. I'll make sure I find out before I keep them all. <laughs> all right. uh, so here is the box. Um, this is, I think, the box, the same one that the uh, regular original Mac 2 comes in, just based on appearances. I actually haven't ever really experienced the Mac 2, so I don't know. But I feel like I've seen this packaging before, um, so that kind of adds up, at least in my brain. All right, in here we've got a little soft taco pouch, and then we have... A card in here, McNeese Performance Machined Mac 2 3.5. So the steel on this guy is CPM 20 CV, awesome. Handle is titanium, hardware is stainless steel, it's dated 2021, and there's a sticker in there as well. So you've got this cool kind of metal card back here with all that information. I'm just going to leave it in the baggie because this isn't my knife, so I'm going to keep it just like that. Uh, let's get into the soft pouch real quick. Okay. So, right off the bat, I honestly was expecting it to be a little bit bigger than it is, because I know this is the larger version of something. Um, but, I mean, it's a three and a half inch blade, so I don't know. <laughs> it really does look like a three and a half inch blade open, but I <laughs> just for some reason was expecting it to be larger than it is. Um, this one is featuring a hollow grind. Looks like there might even be the slightest bit of recurve in that blade. I don't know if that's because this is kind of a proto or what. Um, but you get a lot of belly out to the tip. Nice swedge. These grinds are really gorgeous. Um, let's see. Yeah, hand ground is specifically lasered on this one. So I assume that means that there's going to be a machine ground version. CPM 20 CV, USA, titanium, K 
cute little pocket clip. All right, yeah, so thumb stud knife, um, if you know me. I'm literally wearing a shirt that has my holes are greater than studs uh, logo on it. Um, I prefer holes to studs, but these studs feel good. That's a poppy, nice little action. Uh, let's see how it shuts. Oh yeah, look at that. Super smooth. I'm assuming this has got to be pretty well broken in already because it's been through so many reviewers already. Doesn't look like it's been hard used at all. Um, there's some snail trails and stuff on it. If you look closely, I, don't know, I have to catch the light, but a few snail trails and stuff. So I might as well document that while, <laughs> while it's getting here, right? Um, yeah, I'll have to see if they're cool with me carrying this a little bit, doing minor cutting with it. But it's a nice thick blade stock that sticks out right off the bat. These handle scales do have a little bit of internal milling. Yeah, there's like, a, I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'll try. Probably not, honestly, but there are some pockets uh, kind of drilled out in there. They're all small circles. Very cool. It says something back here. Does that say prototype? Oh, trying to catch the light. Yep, prototype number five. Okay, so we've confirmed this is a prototype. That's kind of machined there inside of the scale. Uh, no lock bar insert. Seems to just be carbonized titanium, which is all right with me. The way this lock bar is cut seems really nice and neat. This is a handsome knife. It looks good. Um, I can say pretty confidently handling this one. I don't think I'd want it to be smaller. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'd handle the small one and be like, oh, this is a great tiny knife. But this feels about right to me size-wise. I'm getting four fingers on it. Not really a bunch of extra room there. If I kind of choke back into this main groove and not up, then I'm really right there at the edge. But my hand naturally wants to come up like this. Got a little bit of jimping. Not super aggressive or anything, but a little bit of jimping there. Nice flat in front of it. Interesting. Nice and thin behind the edge with this hollow grind. I'm curious on the, uh, the not hand ground, not prototype ones, whether it'll still be a grind this thin because that feels nice especially for such a thick blade stock that they got it thin behind the edge like that feels pretty good to me it's really nice and kind of i don't know if you'll be able to tell how thin that is but it's cool i dig it um this is a knife that like honestly a relatively simple in its lines titanium frame lock with thumb studs only isn't really a knife that like super speaks to me. I've thought they're cool. I like that he's doing these in the US. Um, and he seems like a cool maker too from all the videos I've seen of him and stuff. Uh, I haven't personally talked to him. I actually meant to talk to him at USN show. And then literally like as I was in front of his booth, I got caught up in a separate conversation that ended ended up taking me a totally different direction. And I never went back like a chump, but um, he was there, seemed like a nice guy. And yeah, this is cool. This is a, again, not really totally my speed, but I'm liking it more than I maybe anticipated liking it. Feels nice. It's a little bit hefty, but kind of in a welcome way. It feels a little bit maybe burly, kind of overbuilt, if you want to call it that. It's not really a term that I typically find myself loving, but um, really smooth action. Drops shut. I can middle finger flick it with that stud nice and easily so that's good always makes me happy when I can do that yeah this is a captivating little knife not so little this is a captivating normal size knife um, I like it I'm not sure how I'll feel about this pocket clip now that I'm looking at it in pocket a it's not deep carry B it just doesn't look like there's a ton of clearance but maybe in pocket it'll surprise me maybe I'll like it more than I think I will um, it definitely suits kind of the lines of the knife I'll give it that but yeah, interesting stuff. So I'll be checking it out a little bit. Ultimately, you guys will see a full review. And uh, it's here. It's out of the box. Appreciate um, Brad and everybody else who's it's gone through and tier one for getting it to me and tossing in some stickers. So thanks, guys. Um, yeah, I'll link to McNeese Knives down below just in case any of you aren't aware of who they are. Make it nice and easy. And uh, I'm pretty sure Brad Screaming Pirate is the one who started this whole thing as well. This kind of pass around that's going on with it. So I'll link his channel too. Check him out if you haven't. Um, Brad's a buddy. He's in a group chat with me and we talk every now and then and he's a, he's a good dude. I give him a hard time sometimes, but in a fun way because he's a good dude. Anyway, thanks everybody. Appreciate it. We'll see you on the next one.